TSO Daily. I'm your host, Mr. Craven. All right, guys. So I'm PvPing, right? And I'm trying to hit my transit shrines to get from one point of Cyrodiil to another. And I'm in a load screen. Now, typically, load screens can be a pain in the butt. But I deal with them. I never usually complain about load screens. Usually I don't. But since there's PvP going on, I'm like, okay, it could get a little crazy, but it's it's in the middle of the day. It's not even at night yet. It's a look, this may be an unusually long load time. What is unusual about this load time? It's very usual. There's nothing unusual about it. I promise you. So I want to see if we can go for the longest load time in Elder Scrolls history. <laughs> so how are you today? <laughs> yes, I know. It's been crazy, right? You know, Clockwork City's here. It's great. It's beautiful. The devs did such a great job, right? It is. It's amazing. It really is. I love everything that Clockwork City has offered. And, um, you know, we now have champion points in Battlegrounds. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but it's true. So uh, that's finally here. This may be an unusually long load time. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. But anyways, so... You know, my, me, myself, I'm working on updating my builds. You know, that's just something I'm into. You know, a lot of people, you know, just want to know, you know, what kind of a small adjustments I've made, you know, since, you know, uh, you know, the release of the DLC, which is good. You know, it's good. I, I, it keeps me busy. keeps me occupied. I do enjoy doing it. And, you know, I do like PvPing, too. You know, PvP is great. You know, when you can PvP anyways. It's awesome. I really like Cyrodiil. You know, this game has probably one of the best siege engines in MMO history next to Dark Age of Camelot. I mean, Dark Age of Camelot had a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of zerging and a lot of lag. Sure. I, you know, I, I just don't remember a lot of load screens where, you know, maybe an unusually long load time. Sure. Cool. Excellent. You know, I, I wonder if I can get a marathon going on. You know, if I, if I, if anybody can, you know, I feel like one of those kids like that should be, uh, you know how, uh, they have those events you sponsor somebody for running so many laps and you know, it's for fundraising and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the future on the next one, I can do something like that. You know, see, you know, how long I can with, withhold, I can hold out on load screen. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to know how to fix this, you, you can easily fix this um, by shutting down the game and re-entering right away. So you don't get kicked from Cyrodiil, now, unless it's prime time. But, you know, that's a whole different beast. Um, but, yeah, it, it, this is this is amazing, you know. You know, this load screen is, it, it takes, this may be an unusually long load time. Nothing unusual, unusual about it, Zoss. Trust you and me. Yes, yes. You know. I, I mean, how long does it take the system to recognize my character just transferred, like, two, you know, uh, keeps away? I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I, I really hope you guys are enjoying PvP this weekend. You have a lot to look forward to if you haven't been on yet. Trust you and me. I you know, uh, this is great. It's it's awesome. Yeah, a lot of action here, guys. So much action, you know. You know, I, I love the White Gold Tower. It's a pretty picture, you know, it seems like an autumn season, you know, with the storm coming in and everything's kind of set in the background, you know, I think they actually have a, you know, a wallpaper theme for this for console players, you know, maybe an unusually long load time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, great, great. It's, it's unusual. Okay, if they say so. But uh, anyways, going on, moving on, we're going to we're I'm definitely interested in doing this if, if we can keep it going, you know. But uh, anyways, um, I'm really interested in seeing how you guys feel about your uh, you th some of the minor changes. I know Sorks, you know, took got away this time. They're still hitting really hard, by the way. Yeah. 
They really are. Stam, <coughs> excuse me. Stam characters look still pretty good. Uh, everything's kind of going, you know, around and and oh, I, I got a comment. Oh hi. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not doing anything, so I'll take a look at the comment. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's amazing, you know. <laughs> this is this is, you know, the lo the loader. <laughs> Oh, I got a dislike even. Okay, cool. I don't blame you. Laugh out loud. Hey, I heard you can't be VMA. Oh, looky, it, it, it's it's my troll. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm kind of busy right now. Maybe in the, in the future sometime I'll do VMA run for you or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, I'm, I, I'm very, it's very important here. So here, uh, let me do something here for you. Uh, okay, bye. Oh, hi, afternoon. Hi, Trinity. You know, I am actually trying to see how long it's going to take me to load into Cyrodiil. Now, I'm already in Cyrodiil on a PvP in Trinity, but unfortunately, um, something unusual is going on with a, a load, you know? I mean, that's what it says. This may be an unusually long load time. So I'm seeing if I can go for the longest holdout. On, see, it may be unusual. It's it's not. I promise you. I'm seeing if I could go for the longest holdout for loading in to two keeps away, two keeps away. So I, I I'm trying to set an ESO record. That's what I'm after. You know, I, I'm setting the bar pretty high because you know by now people's OCD would be kicking in. They'd shut down the game. Now I've already done that a few times today. So you know. Keep everybody give me a thumbs up. Wish me luck. We 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 want to push for this. You know, see how long it takes the system to say, "Oh, hey, Mr. Craven's trying to get into this keep." Yeah, <laughs> cool. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> but nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with the game. It's everything's working as intended. I logged out in Clockwork after trying to log in. I quit after five minutes. Damn it. Well, wish me, I, I I don't know how long I've been on this stream, so, you know, I'm glad you guys are here to talk to me. Shorty B, laugh out loud, these load screens really piss me off. I agree with you, totally agree with you, but I I don't know what the problem of it is. You know, I, I remember in one Tamriel, we was getting load screens every, like, couple steps, but it would resolve, right? But these load screens seem to last forever. Everybody happy with their builds this update? I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It's Veterans Day. So, you know, if you know a veteran, please thank them for their service. It's always appreciated. You know, I, I thank the people who, the men and women who serve this country. But this is definitely awesome. I, I, I feel like I'm in the midst of something great. This may be an unusually long load time. Robert, the longer will no longer be owned by EP by the time you load. Probably, Robert. I I agree. You know, we were pushing really hard. Like I'm in Vivac and I I'm having a pretty good damn PvP day. I'm on my main PvP here. Well, not my main, my secondary to my to my main. So I'm on my Magic of DK. And um only lost twice today and um one once was to a stamp DK and he's really good. His name is ah, uh, you know, but he's really good. I forgot to keep these load screens. <laughs> Can we take them home with us? Useless. Cyrodiil is so broken right now. All week has been hell. I and it's the weekend. We have the golden coming out. What do we have to look forward to is, I mean, our, now since it's Veterans Day, does everybody think Zoss took the day off? I mean, I don't know. I know government offices are closed today. You know, I do know that. But are the, are the technicians in Zoss? Now, this has nothing to do with the developers, guys. So it's not the devs' fault, I don't think. I think this is a technical problem. It could be software-related. Um, you know, between software and hardware, I wouldn't, you know, I, I'm speculating, um, but there is definitely problems, uh, you know, in our thing. I mean, how long do you guys think I can last here? And I, I mean, will the system finally put me in? 
You know, that's the question. But I want to set the record. I want to go for an all-time record right now. Saturday is Veterans Day. You're right, Trinity. But today they're off, though. I know the offices are closed today, but you are right. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate it. But, right. You know, uh, you are right. So, but I do know, like, the post office is closed and um, whatever other government office. Maybe it's because it is Saturday. They take that day off, you know, paid holiday. It all started with the new DLC. Yes, it did. It did. The new DLC. I mean, I'm really happy that I get to do this. This is like, I, I feel that I'm contributing so much to the cause right now. Does everybody feel me? True government stuff is closed. Yeah, thank you. Right. But my, my kids did have school today. Yeah. So I know like the post office and government offices are closed. Um, I, I don't know about like, you know, what and like what's considered, you know. I mean, I imagine Washington, D.C. is pretty, you know, in um, federal buildings and things like that, too. You know. You know, I, I honestly am grateful for the country we live in and a lot of people across the world who serve military. I mean, despite any conflicts that we have across the world, you know, people are, you know, serving. And I feel that's a good thing, no matter where you're from, is, you know, doing something noble uh, for a cause. So, you know, and it, and it takes a special type of person to, you know, serve their country. So, well, once again, I want to thank everybody for serving our country. I appreciate it, man. But, um, yeah, this is amazing. This is simply, simply amazing, guys. This screen, this, this load screen is beautiful. It's stunning. Yes. I think I can see the grass growing. I mean, I, I feel like the trees are going, the leaves are going to fall. Government gets the day off and the veterans work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, you're right, Todd. Yeah. I think some, I mean, it depends on which, you know, but yeah, you're right. I mean, there really is no day off for military people. You know, you hope to see them um, during like major holidays and it's, it's great when they do, but remember the sacrifices that they make guys, you know, the holidays when they're, you know, Guarding the the front lines and things like that. Definitely, we need to appreciate the men and women. You know, not just in military, but in uh, civil service as well. You know, the police officers, the firefighters. You know, uh, the paramedics. All of those people. You know, definitely deserve a round of applause. I have to go. Good luck with the load screen. We'll check back later to see how long you lasted. Thanks, Shorty. I appreciate it. We're gonna try to make it go. After three years, you'd think you would have a new splash for the Cyrodiil load screen. Yeah, you know, at least maybe a different one, like every other load. Yeah, that would be really cool, you know. Maybe a couple people fighting in, in, in this screen. That would be pretty badass, you know, like with flags and stuff. I mean, I, we could paint it, right? I could go up and literally, you know feel like I could paint the perfect fight scene going on right here. And I, the hand of Mulag Ball coming out of that would be unusually long load time. No, no, it's not unusual. Like the hand of Mulag Ball coming down on the white gold tower would be a really cool effect too. I think that'd be ass, uh, awesome. I missed four Christmases for five uh, years of act, active. Trinity, thank you so much. Thank you. That It really, really goes appreciated. I want to thank you personally for your service and your sacrifice. And uh, I imagine everybody else does too. It is not unnoticed. And I'm glad that we have a day that we can appreciate, you know, the people, the uh, men and women like you who have made those sacrifices. Thank you, Trinity. I appreciate it so much. You know, I, it, it's amazing, guys, you know, what people really do do for this country. You know, it all starts with, you know, the people who volunteer because it is a volunteer. You give up so much to serve. And every day, you know, I'm about to cry. Sorry. Every day we lose people in, you know, conflicts. And it's hard, you know, to, you know, see that happen. 
and for those men and women to make those sacrifices and to put their lives, you know, at risk to protect, you know, everybody, not just their family, but everybody. It's amazing. It is simply amazing that they they're they're you know they're not selfish you know they go out there they work so hard there it 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 takes so much out of these people and they, they just go forward and keep pushing and for the people who especially put in the 20 years and the 30 years i mean i can't believe people go after 20 i know some people do thank you thank you for the sacrifice Thank you. My dad's best friend was a retired army uh, master chief and um, or or master sergeant. Sorry, not master chief. That's the Navy master sergeant. And he was the best individual I knew. I got to grow up with his kids, um, you know, when they came back and it would he's an amazing man. Simply amazing. So many active duty and vet play this game that I met over the years. It's great. I love the fact that, you know, you get to see the military people when they get, you know, a little bit of furlough time and they get to come back and they get to enjoy, you know, this type of product and it takes them back to their childhood. And I really like, you know, meeting those individuals as well. Because um, you get to hear some pretty cool stories, not not about the stuff that they can't talk about, but the things they've seen outside of the country if they traveled. And even for the ones who haven't, you know, it is a bond. Military uh, service men and women have a bond. They almost, you know, they have a recognition amongst each other. And it's admirable in every sense of the word. Definitely. But, um, yeah, I, I'm very appreciative, you know, for what everybody's given us in this country for, you know, since its conception. You know, I was in the military for a short period of time. Um, I don't I don't take any recognition for anything. I don't I don't even consider myself a vet, to be honest with you. Uh, nothing like that. Um, but um, the, what these people do is amazing. Used to play WoW, and every time I came back, there was a new update. Yeah. So, um, did you get to, like, it, when you were stationed in the States, did you get to play then, Trinity? Uh, you know, Trinity, it, thank you. Uh, I didn't I didn't really serve in the way that a lot of people think, you know. Um, but, you know, I when I was there, when I was in the military, uh, like, it was a very short period of time. Um, but when I was there, you really, you really knew, um, what people give. And that's, I think that's what my admiration stems from, you know, definitely, definitely. In Germany. Oh, that's so cool. You know, I, I know a couple of people who went over Germany, a lot of, um, a lot of different people still go over Germany for training and stuff. Like my one friend went over there. Um, he went, uh, he was a reserve. So, um, and then my other friend had national guard and they went Germany for training. So it was like a two week training thing. I, I was like, where are you guys going for your training? And they're like, Oh, Germany.